Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm going to do something different for you and I'm going to do a makeup tutorial for stage makeup. Now I will give you a tutorial that is for a very easy and natural look. So this is what I used to do in many of the ballets that I performed whilst I was with the Royal Ballet. Um, and I will also tell you what um, female dancers could add to make it a little bit more feminine um, but for all of you male dancers out there, um, this is what I would do for a normal show. So let me know what you think and let's get started. Now, I'm using my um, makeup bag that I used whilst I was in the Royal Ballet. And it's actually the first time that I've taken it out um, since I left the Royal Ballet. So it's, it's quite nice. Um, it brings back a lot of memories. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Now I'm not using a mirror, I'm actually going to be using uh, my reflection um, from this video. So if I'm looking this way, yeah, that's because I can then see myself. Um, so I'll, I'll look back into the camera when I'm talking to you, but whilst I am applying the makeup, I'll be looking at the screen in front of me. Okay, so let's get started. Now, whilst I was dancing, my, ha my hair wasn't this long, so I'm just going to start by tying it back so that my hair stays out of my face. There we go. Like so. All right, now we are ready to start. Um, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna apply some foundation. And the foundation that I used to use, and actually I still use it um, on a daily basis just to cover blemishes if I have any. And this is by MAC. And um, it's great because the MAC foundation, it's not too heavy. And you know those dancers that get um, spots or blemish blemishes from makeup? Now, the, the MAC foundation is quite light and powdery. So, you know, it just feels a lot nicer because when you start sweating, the last thing you want to feel is, you know, a whole layer of foundation on your face. So I'm going to go and get started. I'm using a brush by um, Bobby Brown. Don't know if you can see that. Um, so that is just, I'm going to use the Bobby Brown brush to just go over all the areas where I have some spots, which, you know, there's quite a few today. So I'm sorry about that. That's it. So just around here and then I've been working hard lately so you can see that I've got um, some bags under my eyes so I'm just going to apply some under the eyes just to make that bag go away. Well it's not going completely but it is a little bit better. Okay. So I'm now going to grab um, my sponge and now I'm going to apply the same foundation but all over and even though I haven't done this in a while, I am quite quick with applying foundation. Let's see. Now a good thing with a foundation, what you need to be mindful of is you need to make sure that you also apply the foundation down your neck and I'll show you in a second why that's important. Okay. Ba -ba -ba. There we go. So I'm making sure that it's going right against my hairline because stage lights pick up everything. The reason why I'm doing this quite quick and why I had to do it quite quick is because um, during my time at the Royal Ballet, we used to um, start off in the morning with a ballet class, which started at 10.30 till 11.45. And then we had a 15 minute break to eat something quickly. And then we went into rehearsals um, till about 5.30 when we had a show that evening. Now, there's a two hour break before the show starts, 
and really we wanted to utilize that time to eat something or um, they have nice little beds as well for all the dancers so you can have a little nap before the show so the last thing you want to do is spend loads of time on doing your makeup so I think you know everyone's quite quick at doing their normal natural stage makeup because you know it's easy and you don't want to spend too much time doing it okay so I've just done the face and I haven't done my neck yet now what happens on stage is if you just stop here at the jawline and you don't do any foundation on your neck then it almost looks like you are wearing a mask because obviously everything on your face is got foundation on it and it's slightly a different tone and then when you lift your chin the skin on your neck is a lot lighter so it's always important that you just keep it going onto your neck and what I used to do is I usually had a look at my costume and I kept it going till where my costume um, would go to so I would cover the whole the whole base of my neck until it reached the costume so that I, so that it would not look like I was wearing a mask. Okay, so that's my foundation done. I feel like I look a little bit more presentable now to be speaking to the world. Um, so yeah, that was my foundation by MAC and my sponge. And beforehand, I just went over the blemishes with my Bobbi Brown brush. Okay, next up is I am going to do the... Um, no, I'm not. I'm going to do the eyeliner if I can find it. There it is. Good. And this eyeliner is, um, I got it at Boots. So if you're in London, I got it in Boots. I always get my eyeliner at Boots. I don't have a particular brand that I like to use more than another one. Um, but yeah, so just a black eyeliner. And I'll show you how I do this. So I put my finger underneath my eye, on my eye, underneath, and I pull the skin down. And then I actually draw a line really close into the eye. Go over it a few times, there we go. And as you can see, that's how I apply my eyeliner. But look what happens now. If I take that finger off, where I've touched the skin to pull it down, I've now smudged the foundation. So I'll tell you in a second what I do with that. So I'm just gonna do the other side. So I'm gonna just pull it down. And after a while, you can really feel where the eyeliner is supposed to go. So even though I'm looking now, I can probably do it with my eyes closed. Let's see, so I put eyeliner on the inside. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my sponge that I use for my foundation, and I'm just gonna go over where my finger was um, so that that hasn't ruined the foundation. There we go. 